MrsMommy.com, a mom lifestyle blog dedicated to sharing tips, advice, and inspirational stories for and by the modern mom. Today is day number 21 of the 30-day prayer vlogs for moms, and we are talking about confidence. I'm going to go right off the bat onto a scripture verse that I feel like has really been like pressing on my heart, and um, some other verses within this chapter that I feel are very pertinent, especially right now, <laughs> as I'm going to be honest, have tried recording this um, several times. So this is the last time I'm going to try to record this <laughs> and we're going to upload it and we're going to go for it and just have confidence that whatever is said, that God is going to speak to me, through me, to you, for both of us. <laughs> so let's get right into the scripture. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 25 and 26 and then I'm going to skip down to verse 30. So verse 25, she is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. Verse 30, charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. And I'll go on to verse 31 also. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. So if you are familiar with the Proverbs 31 woman, it's basically the total mom boss, um, girl boss, got everything together type of woman. And there's a lot of different parts of this woman, uh, of things that she does that is outlined throughout this chapter. Sometimes we feel like reading it that we have to meet up to all of those standards, but I just feel like it's just giving a bunch of different examples of what a uh, Proverbs 31, a, an amazing woman, a woman who is about her business, an assertive woman, and a responsible woman is like. I don't think that we have to encompass all of what the chapter is saying, but definitely different um, bits and pieces I feel can pertain to us that we can relate to. But I think something that we could all definitely relate to and something that we should keep in mind for ourselves and affirm for ourselves, especially when we are feeling less than confident and feeling like we just don't measure up, is definitely verse 25. She is clothed with strength and dignity and she can laugh at the days to come. Hold the strength and dignity. We have a lot of strength as women. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do. Um, we can multitask. We can birth children. We can be great nurturers. We can um, do, you know, the hard stuff, the manly stuff. Um, we're very versatile in the types of things that we can do. And But one thing that I feel like is a common thread through all of us is our strength to persevere and to um, push through hard things. We do hard things. We do difficult things, whether we like it or not. Um, we do things out of love. We do things out of, you know, just good character, out of, you know, our morals. Um, we do things that are necessary because of, you know, we are strategic in our mind and we know what's ahead of us and what we have to do in order to get to where we want or to get what we want done, completed. And so um, I just feel like, and excuse if you hear the baby, I'm going to try to play some music through here. But um, there's a lot of things that we can do. And sometimes we get so caught up in looking at what everybody else is doing that we feel like we just can't measure up and that we're not good enough. And I just want to, you know, remind you of who you are. You are a strong woman. You are an incredible woman who can do um, amazing things. Whatever you put your mind to you can do it. You can find a way. If you don't know how to do it right off the bat, if you believe in God and trust in him and you pray to him and say, God, I don't know. I feel like you are leading me in this direction. You want me to do this certain thing, but I'm really not sure how to make it happen. Show me how to make it happen. Show me um, the way that will work best for me and how I'm wired help me and he definitely will come through for you there are a lot of times that we have thoughts that come through our mind and we're thinking oh that's just crazy that or that's just too big of a thought or or a dream or a goal or um you feel like hey I should go talk to this person um but you may feel like um that was crazy thinking I don't even know what I would say I don't know them or they are you know not above me but they're kind of like 
we're just not really on the same page and you feel like I don't really have anything to give or to share with them. But I love how verse 26 says she speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. You affirm that I speak with wisdom. I have good things to say. Whatever I have to say is valuable. Whatever I have to offer the world is important. Somebody needs what I have to say. I'm not just shooting off the side of my hip. If I'm walking with God, if I'm walking in my purpose, if I'm aligning to who I'm supposed to be, who I was created to be from the core, then everything I do, as long as I am like got God on my side and got the Holy Spirit on the other side <laughs> guiding me, I'm going to speak truth. I'm going to speak wisdom. I'm going to speak things that are going to change people's lives. And as I am affirming this for you and telling you this, I'm like reminding myself of the same thing. As long as you are obedient to what you know you're supposed to do, you get those inclinations, you get those feelings like, those urges like in your gut like I should be doing this do it step forward you have to make the first step and confidence just doesn't just come magically it comes by believing and how do you even start to believe in the confidence that you have in yourself affirming who you are so you know speak over yourself I am clothed with strength and dignity I can laugh at the days to come meaning if I don't know what's about to be in front of me, I don't know what the future holds. I just know it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be celebrating. I can see myself doing this. I can see myself doing that. I don't know if it's going to exactly happen that way, but that's what I am pushing for. That's what I'm shooting for. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I have the faith for. And I'm affirming that it's going to happen. And also, I and the, the charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. A lot of times we get so caught up with, well, I don't move like that person or I don't have, you know, the sauce <laughs> like that other person. I can't do it like them or I just don't feel beautiful. Like, y'all, I've been rapping, I've been rocking these head wraps like all month long and I've been, you know, feeling challenged. Like, I want like, I want some braids, some twists. I want a hairdo. Give me a wig. Give me something. <laughs> like, I don't want to be wearing these wraps, but I'm just making the best out of what I have right now out of my situation and so I want to encourage you like don't get caught up in what you look like in order to do the tasks that you were supposed to be doing to do the mission that you were called to do if you get caught up in what you look like on the on the outside and waiting for you to have everything perfect you may never make that step you may never go talk to that person that could lead to a new job opportunity or, or a networking experience or lead you to the next big thing that you're supposed to do if we get keep staying caught up in what we look like and what we feel like, then we will never allow ourselves to be the great women that we were always meant to be. So I want to encourage you, affirm yourself, affirm the word, speak the word over yourself. Put your name in there. Instead of she says, I will say, um, if my name was Sandra, Sandra is um, clothed in, with strength and dignity. Um, Melissa is clothed with strength and dignity. Tasha is clothed with strength and dignity. Um, Elizabeth <laughs> is clothed with strength and dignity. I got to throw in a Latina in there. Maria <laughs> is clothed in strength and dignity. And just speak all of these things over yourself daily until you believe it, until you can see it. And just believe in the woman that God has called you and created you to be. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for making us who you created us to be. Every single person is different. Every different. Every single person is unique and have been called to do certain things on this earth. I pray, Lord God, that you will allow us to, to finally see ourselves the way that you see us and to remind us in the strength that we have in you to accomplish great things in our lives for the world. I know that the things that we have, the skills, the gifts that we um, harness are not for us to harbor and to just to hold on to for ourselves but we're supposed to share it with the world and share it with other people who need what we have we can't be the 
one stop shop and have all and know all but we can be a part of the puzzle the great puzzle of you know connections helping each other to make you know a better world and to just do whatever it is that you have destined for this world we are a part of the big master plan and i pray that you will help us to help us to see that if we are not feeling confident in what you've told us to do you've been telling us in dreams you've been telling other people um to tell us what what we our need to do what we've been called to do. Um, we've been seeing it on billboards. We've been seeing it in shows and TVs, like in conversations, like it just keeps coming up and we keep doubting it. Help us to have the, um, the, the belief in ourselves and, and to believe like, yeah, that, that word is for me. That thing is for me. I can do this. Stop doubting yourself. Stop um, feeling bad about what you don't have. Stop feeling bad about what you feel like you should look like and don't look like. I pray, Lord God, that we will just um, that you would just rework our mindset and reframe um, our thoughts, Lord God, so that we can think positively. That we can um, think with authority of what we are made to be and to be just confident in who you have always. Um, expected and created us to be i pray lord god for those of us who may be struggling with um low self-confidence low self-esteem that you will help us to see ourselves and to raise us up and to remind us that we are beautiful we are strong we are amazing we are gifted we are talented we are smart we are intelligent we are um quick thinkers we are um strategic we are business women whatever it is that we wish that we were help us to reverse that and say that we are that thing thank you lord god for loving on us thank you for um sending us messages in different ways and um uh, giving us time after time to like try to get it right i pray that you i know you would never leave us nor forsake us and i pray god that you won't give up on us i know you won't but just help us um just Give us a little push to move us along into the direction that we need to be. Thank you, Lord God, again so much for making us and for creating us to be women and um, just loving on us, whether we can love ourselves or not. Help us to feel your love for us and in turn love ourselves the same. In your name I pray, amen. All right, ladies, so I will see you tomorrow for day number 22. You may see the same outfit because I'm trying to batch work, <laughs> but yeah. Be encouraged. You've got this. You are amazing. Be confident in whatever it is that you have been called and meant to do. You can do it. God's got your back. He's already laid it out for you. You just got to take the first step. You got this. All right. I will see you next time. Bye.